Well, just moments ago, Stephen Perry was sworn in as the new public safety commissioner in Providence. And tonight we're learning more about why he suspended Colonel Dean Esserman after the chief got into a verbal altercation with a subordinate. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White has the story now, new at 6. Even before the controversial verbal altercation, Providence Mayor Angel Tavares had ordered a review of all department heads. Of course, this includes Dean Esserman. Now his future with Providence lies in the hands of the city's new public safety commissioner. The Providence Police Department is very On Monday, excited Providence Police Colonel Dean Esserman served a one-day suspension after he got into a verbal altercation with a Providence police sergeant. Police union members had said the colonel threatened to dump hot coffee on the officer. It was an unfortunate situation. A guest on this week's Newsmakers, Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says he issued the suspension after meeting with the colonel. It was a one-way exchange from the colonel to a sergeant, and the matter was dealt with uh, swiftly. He accepted uh, the sanction. He understood his uh, behavior, and we're going to move on. I know he's publicly apologized, but did he defend it in any way during that conversation? It's indefendable. You just can't defend uh, the words that were used. The Providence Police Union, which has already given the colonel a vote of no confidence, responded with a statement saying Esserman can no longer effectively lead the department. It's going to be all a part of a review in which I'll complete. Uh, it's underway, but it's just too premature to make any predictions. Colonel Esserman is currently working without a contract. His future with the department hangs on the outcome of Perry's review. But look, it's difficult being a police chief in any community, and it's a difficult job. You have to make some tough choices to run a police department. I understand that. We all have our weaknesses and strengths as well, Colonel Esserman included. So Commissioner Perry says the review should be completed within 30 to 45 days. Now keep in mind, Perry is also charged with finding a replacement for Fire Chief George Farrell, who announced his retirement last week. Tim White, Eyewitness News.